Uh, and um, <laughs> no, it, it was advertised as hand blown Murano glass. And I just thought, BS, there is no way for this price that's real. Yeah. So the stuff comes, it's very pretty. The coloring on all the glass has all dissolved. Oh, no. So all you have is just nice, very art, unusual shapes. It looks like a Chihuly type of mm -hmm, thing, mm -hmm. except for all of the coloring is gone. How funny. And so in the end, I've just said, yeah, we're not going to buy stuff like that anymore. You, there's no way you can. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of AI, um, I remember reading an article Stephen Hawkins when he was dying. And they were asking him, you know, so what, what, are, what do you need to leave behind for us? And his, his, his words were, you need to beware yeah. of artificial intelligence. Yeah, really? Yeah. We were in. That, that should be our biggest fear yeah. on, the, on the planet Earth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There, well, there are people who say we'll have less than two minutes. Do like, what? Term, have, like, Type scenario? Yeah. If, yeah. Like, yeah. Someone just, I just read it this morning. So I don't know, remember what the post was about, but his response was, it was in a comment. I've been involved with AI and you can bet that anything I've ever done has a backdoor, fail safe has a, and I'm going to be the one who survives and I'm going to be watching the, watching it play out. I don't know. But well. I, I don't know if that, I was actually thinking, I don't know how that plays out in, in our known end term. What we yeah. Does it include any form of AI taking over the world? I don't know. The no. beast. <laughs> the one who thought we would, thought he was dead? Yeah. I, I, I kind of don't see it, but. Yeah. Come Does anybody like a copy of the handout? Yeah, I'll check one. Oh, your computer is working. Yeah, I just cheated. So yeah. I could. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. That was That's it. Just, no, you didn't cheat. You're sophisticated. Yeah, right. Twenty uh, first century yeah. there, yeah. especially since we've been talking about AI. Yeah. Well, what's with all this layoffs with all these technology companies at once? I know there's. We're going to find Top out soon enough. Or but just, I mean, there are tens of thousands of people being laid off. All the companies at one time. What's except, the except at Microsoft? They're not doing. So what? And the the complete difference is well run. Bozos. Okay. And these people over high view that the world is just going to keep going like it's been during the pandemic and we need to do all this stuff. And lo and behold, it didn't mature. Last in, first out. Mm, all right. May I ask you a totally non related question? <laughs> you just know stuff and you know stuff about stuff. So. I, I, I read a lot. Well, that's good. That's and good. Uh, I've seen this movie in business over. That's why I retired. That makes, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. yeah. It's easy to do because, I mean, you're, it's, the, it's the FOMO. If I don't, uh -huh. and all the competitors get it, and so, well, I got to do it. But it really isn't fun when you're that in that 10,000 population or whatever, and you didn't see this coming. and. But, or you're that person pushing the button where you're having to hire, fire all those people that, yeah. that you didn't hire and didn't. I left because Chevron was about to do the every third person, you're out of the zoo. Well, around saying, well, let's see. I think Cedric, you can stay. Mm -hmm. Kathy, uh, no, you got to go. And these are all at will employees who have no recourse. Yes. And you just. So I said, I don't know, I quit. <laughs> I'm not doing any more of that. I don't care how much you pay me, I quit. Not doing it. But this is just a we uh, we were watching news last Friday. Uh, no, two Fridays ago. At any rate, all of the lights in our den went out. It's like what? So anyway, call the electrician. Wait till try to do the best you can. No light. And the main light in the kitchen went out too because it's right next to the den. So at any rate. Uh, the electrician comes and they start the search for where is the problem. Of course, the very last thing they looked at was the ceiling light in the kitchen. We have another light. It's an old timey. I mean, Noah had one just like it. <laughs> 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 it's gone. Yeah. And it has a little switch. 
finding a light with a switch oh. on it is oh. there. Oh, yeah. Do you have any Good recommendations? I, I went online and I put sconce with a switch. Do they show me one bloody light with a switch? Right. Well, oh, no. the place that I have found for the church anyway, that yes. has a lot of older fixtures is called the Big Chandelier on 14th. That, okay. It's right. Oh, yeah, I know. And so they, um, that would be my best guess. Yes, 14th at almost at north side yeah i think i've we've been there is that old georgia yeah. lighting no it's, it's, it's near it's it near it like a block there's a also block. a place what's the antique thing it's chattahoochee yeah there's a lot of yeah places yeah and yeah. there's a there's a lady in there that does old fixtures and um she actually fixed the ones in the narthex for us there's also one on howell mill oh yeah sits down yeah and they will, they can fix about anything. They're well, the cidery uh, or something, a cider place. But you're looking for a fixture. Yes, yes. I would start this, with the big this, chandelier. Like, so this place that, uh, that Mary Elizabeth was talking about, it, there's yeah. a place called the cider, or some kind of a cider place up on the street. Yeah. And it sits, I think yeah. it's the one that sits like right below it. You go down a driveway. Hey, what I'll do, Kathy, rather than just doing this, I'll just write down some things and send you some websites. How about that? Groovy. I would appreciate it. I'll do it. Thank you so much. I don't drink. I, I believe you were the last person to come through the door. Am I, I correct? <laughs> well, will you uh, bless us with an opening prayer? Yes, I will. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the rain um, as it comes to replenish the earth. Lord, we thank you for being in this class this morning. We thank you for open minds and open hearts to receive the lesson that you will bring forth through our instructor. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Diane. To see you, it's really good to be back. I've missed you all. We've missed you too. And Elizabeth, we don't see you, but we see your name, and we're glad you're with us. It's been too long. And Rachel and Dorsey, and, yeah, and, and uh, yes, all everybody. of our, all of our, um, our, our greater metropolitan Sunday school class. <laughs> across state lines. That's so great. Well, we have been for a yeah. while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have been across state lines. Um, in fact, I taught from Louisiana one morning. Mm -hmm. oh, so, well, we're uh, we're looking at uh, returning to discipleship. And um, last week we looked at the prodigal son, aka the elder brother, aka the loving father, and thought about. Um, Yes, turning back to God is something we do, but it's also something God does to us and for us. Um, and that the key is that loving father that goes out to us. Um, he waits for that prodigal son. He's watching prodigal son, and he goes out to the elder brother, which is really where the story leans. That moment of, of goodness, what is going on out there? Um, uh, that the story leans into that that moment that that encounter brother and the father the elder brother who is still outside and the father trying to bring him in this week we're you looking know, at yes dorcia i just i have a question about where that uh study is on youtube would it be sermon on the mount part four i haven't put it up yet I haven't oh, gotten it okay, up yet. Okay, that's all I want to know. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm behind. I'm that's very okay. behind. I just couldn't. I'm behind in anything that has to do with a phone or a computer. I'm behind on. Okay, that's good. <laughs> At least I, so I'll be, I know. Yeah, yeah, I'll be getting it up for you. Okay. Um, um, and, um, so this week we're looking at the metaphor of the good shepherd. And there are two passages, John 10 and Luke 15, um, that use that that metaphor. Y'all may remember um, that Leslie taught a great lesson on this passage for us when we did the Gospel of John. Um, and um, I'll, I will send that out and um, I, we don't have that, that recording still. Um, I don't even know if it was one that was recorded. Uh, it may have been pre-pandemic. Um, but, uh, but I'll send out her handout as well again. Uh, but uh, but as we look at at John chapter ten, 
even when the sheep is inside the fold. In other words, this isn't a this isn't some straying, but even inside the sheepfold, which is where the sheep are brought for overnight for protection, what dangers persist <clears throat> for the sheep? The wolf. The wolf, right? And what else? They use robbers. Robbers, yeah, coming in, exactly. Um, thieves. Thieves, exactly. Coming in to try to steal away the sheep. And obviously, this is a, a metaphor. And and I've put into your handout an old hymn. This I copied it out of the old Baptist hymnal. Jesus calls us or the tumult. Um, I'll just read the um, read the hymn for us. Jesus calls us or the tumult of our life's wild, restless sea. Day by day, his sweet voice soundeth, saying, "Christian, follow me." us from the worship of the vain world's golden store from each idol that would keep us saying christian love me more in our joys and in our sorrows days of will and hours of ease still he calls us in cares and pleasures christian love ease. jesus calls us by thy mercy savior may we hear thy call give our hearts to thine obedience serve and love thee best of all how does this hymn relate to the idea of faults of, of robbers coming in and also of those false voices? <clears throat> Jesus says in chapter 10 of John, the sheep know his. In other words, there are other voices calling. Uh, and in the day to day of being a shepherd, there might be many shepherds working. right? But his sheep know his voice. So so how does this hymn relate to the idea of robbers and of false voices that would call us. Well, in a way, it makes me think of all these uh, phone scams mm -hmm. that are directed against mm -hmm. seniors or whatever, mm -hmm. right? Where, oh, I'm your, you know, I'm your son, your grandson, I'm your whatever, uh, trying to pull them astray and to do something um, that they sound like they would be, you know, realistic or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, um, just the things that come after us trying to pull us away that mm. uh, from Jesus or from right living or from our money or from mm -hmm. attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a good analogy. Thank you. Mm. How else? What, how else does this hymn help you think about the idea of robbers or false voices? It talks about the golden store. Mm. So it's <laughs> like, you know, there's this place, um, like the world convinces us that we need to buy things out of this golden store here with value outside of following Christ that are going to be more valuable than that. Mm -hmm. The question I put down here is like, what's the investment? Like, how does it cost? Whenever you get ready to think about or do something wrong or being just outside of relationship, like what's the, like, what's the return mm -hmm. on investment? You know, mm -hmm. like the golden store, mm -hmm. or, you know, I forget what story it was, but like the kings with the golden calf, or oh, Aaron making the golden calf, this and wanted everything gold. It was in the it was in the Bible, but it was like <laughs> they kept. Oh, it's just Aaron, Aaron building the golden calf. Yeah, yeah. instead of just following Christ, this false sense of these things are going to bring me joy. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so it's this big golden story. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? Distraction. Yeah. Just <clears throat> yeah. hear commercials and yeah. things and all. And it's it's trying to distract us from the real truth. Right. And and I think prayer and worship and all are so important because it kind of it keeps you focused. You know, that God doesn't come to us as a tumult. It's a that still quiet voice. And you have to make an effort, a concerted effort to hear it. And sometimes it's not a, an auditory, though it could be, but it's just a, an overwhelming feeling. I know for me, if I get that feeling, you know, I really should, whatever the thing is, mm -hmm. and I don't do it, I regret it every time, mm -hmm. every time. Mm -hmm. And I think 
that is often how God speaks to me. You know, that I really need it. You need to do it. You need yeah. to do it. Yeah. And uh, I, I love your your word distraction. Um, think about how web pages work um, now with the pop ups, right? right? You know that uh, yeah, that uh, Jesus really is here t- talking about in the hymn is talking about spiritual pop ups. Yeah. You know, things that that just keep you from focusing on what you really want to focus on, and uh, and. And uh, but he sums it all up with with what to do. Yeah. Yes. Follow me. Yeah. Serve me. Yeah. Yeah. Be with me. Yeah. And and focus. Focus. And that's a hard thing in today's world. Focus. I uh, thought it was interesting. I hadn't thought of this before, but he's not saying the it's not just good things that the song is saying distract you, but your yes. focus mm-hmm. that you shouldn't. Yes. I, th- I think that's yes. How I've seen that. Yes, one one thing re- very interesting. Uh, um, um, I'm a student of the uh, Civil War and Civil War era. Fascinating thing about those soldiers, they have this profound sense. We know from their letters and their diaries that they, as Christians, they should be cheerful, be of good cheer. They take that very seriously, and we get really hung up on. Oh, this is happening. And uh, yeah, uh, we've sort of lost sight of that commandment. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Were these both sides? Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's one of the hardest things about studying that war is it's people of the same faith shooting at each other. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's really hard. Um, Despite all these dangers, what comfort do we have in our good shepherd? Somebody read for us um, uh, uh, chapter 10, verse 4. And then when he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. And then verse 14, I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Thank you. So what is our, what comfort do we have in this, in his, these two verses? Relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Relationship, right? And, and that he goes before us. Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Just he doesn't say, okay, well, or he's not he's not driving us from behind, right? Right. Yeah. right. It's not cows; it's sheep. Right. Yep. Um, Luke fifteen, um, that parable. Um, uh, what comfort do we take from that whole parable there? Um, of Luke 15, um, verses one through, I put 10, but really through, uh, through seven. It's just like the one, like you're, you realize that you're special, Yeah. you know, because, you know, Christ will come back and get just that one, Yeah. you know, yeah. Like, like we said before a relationship, yeah. knowing that even in a group, he knows you, he knows your name. Absolutely. That again, that personal relationship and that it really is rooted in the good shepherd. Um, uh, Dorcia reminded us back when we uh, did this, uh, did John 10 before, um, or maybe it was in the Psalms. Uh, we were taught in vet school, sheep look for ways to die. Um, they really do. They're so prone to just wander off and or or to be stolen. Right. The good shepherd will come looking for you. Uh, and didn't you at one time also say that they're really kind of dumb animals? Uh, dumb animals. animals. So, so, well, I, there, there I am. Oh, yeah. Uh. We are right. I tell you, it's the, it's not a compliment to be called God's sheep. It is not. <laughs> bless, bless, bless our hearts. It's not. Um, passages, the, the shepherd who goes and finds the sheep, and then, and then the passage of John 10 um what how do these two two uses of the metaphor of the good shepherd in oh let me look i think jesus desires all to be saved he's thrilled about those that already are Mm -hmm. it doesn't count anybody as a spare Mm -hmm. if you will thinking about all the stuff with spares these days Mm -hmm. (laughs) that, that all matter Mm-hmm. And he wants all of us mm-hmm. to be saved. Mm-hmm. And, and there's such rejoicing into someone that has a change of heart or that comes to the Lord. Mm-hmm. 
I, which I just, because those of us pray and hope we are saved tend to stray and we do things, why did I do that? God, was so stupid, you know, but he reels us back in. Mm -hmm. Time and time and time again. So there's this there's this uh, twofold. So there's the, the there's the care for the sheep that are in the fold and the care for the sheep that are out there, not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, an effort for both of them. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's so comforting. Yeah. Anything else? This um, no, that's not the question I asked. Well, I think the fact that is found it's so celebratory mm -hmm. there's just rejoicing over that yes yes and i think that's important <laughs> um remember that in luke the parable of the lost sheep or the good shepherd is is in the same chapter with the parable of the prodigal son right so the one the one that is brought back is the one that's celebrated and it's important i think too to and remember, yeah, that prodigal son, he, he woke up one morning and went home, but the sheep didn't wake up and go home. He had to go get him. The, the, the shepherd had to go out and get him. Yeah. Um, those who are in the room see this big pile of pictures and headlines of magazines and newspapers. You who are at home, I'm, you, we're going to have a way for you to do this too. Um, what I want you to do uh, it, it, here in the room, you're going to go through these and find either a headline or a picture or a story or something that illustrates a false voice, something to Christians or perhaps to you personally that distracts you from God, that pulls you away. Those of you who are at home, you have the wonder of the internet, right? Um I would suggest you go to your news feed homepage, something like that. Um, and let's take about, let's take not quite 10 minutes and find a picture or a headline that's something that pulls you away, a false voice, a robber that pulls away from Jesus' voice. This is the rabbit hole I went down last night <laughs> because they're church scandals. And then started, <laughs> I figured, okay. Yeah. And one of them I had been curious, but never really kind of researched was Hillsong, the, the Australian. And then anyway, all these different, you know, I won't get it. Anyway, they all re went back to porn, drugs, mm -hmm. or, uh, but different, like you're saying, temptations. And these were all key leaders mm -hmm. that, um, it wasn't just Hillsong. I mean, I've got a whole yeah. So y'all at home be checking your, uh looking at your news feed or whatever, whatever, like your homepage is, is my suggestion. Um, and those in the room, oh, you brought your own. Somehow that doesn't surprise me, Kathy. <laughs> well, I, I had, uh, I've been interested in something really controversial and I thought, well, hold on to that. Hold on. I don't want to bring controversial. So I, I went with plan B. <laughs> Right, just in case I brought controversial, but <laughs> home is I'll let y'all share your screen so you'll be able to share um, uh, what you found.
Mm -hmm. Oh, we just lost Elizabeth. Two minute warning. No time, no time out. Can't get out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> no time out. Can't get out of bounds. So I'm thinking about the golden statue in Daniel. Oh, uh, uh, like, okay. You know, I can okay. think yeah. it was um, the Shel Shazar and then the next yeah. king. And, yeah. You know, he's like a, he's the one true God and then. To come right back and build up a statue again. Just keep putting that idol up there. Just keep putting it. We started with Nebuchadnezzar. All right, what, what we're going to do so that folks at home can see what, uh, um, if you picked a picture or something, what I'm going to have you do is, is let it work. So I'll start with, I'm going to hold up a picture. Let's see if this works. Okay. Y'all can see my picture yep. here? Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> so that we'll have you walk us the, the our, our greater metropolitan hybrid Sunday school class your picture and we we can't trust in uh, one of those in, in blue and gold macaws. macaws very 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 untrustworthy birds. <laughs> um, take your finger right off 
I'll start. That's my picture. That is my picture. Because I I, I see little conversation bubbles above them. <laughs> well, I heard that she said this. Well, I just can't stand it when she does this. This drives me bananas. Blah, 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 blah. Well, that distracts me. I I I have a tendency to get involved in drama. <laughs> Dorcia knows what I'm talking about. Um, and and it's hard in the face of everybody to stop and say, now wait a minute, what is Jesus saying in this moment? Um, so so this is my picture of <laughs> clinic drama. <laughs> clinic drama. Okay. Yeah. That's hers. Yeah. 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 That too. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. All right. Who's next? I'll do this one. Okay. So here's mine. Yeah. What is Can you see that? Okay. This is Hollywood. So read it. Oh, yeah. Hollywood. Hollywood. Hollywood in general. You got to show the class too, the folks here too. This is Hollywood. And so I jaded, I'm still jaded about um, politicians. <laughs> particularly in the state of California. Um, they're, and all you have to know if they're lying is what they're moving. <laughs> My last meeting, he's now no longer the governor, Jerry Brown, was so disgusting. I just can't believe that we have people elected this man. So we had a meeting. Duels. It's just like this room. There was his team, our team. We gave our stories. He looks at everybody and says, was Chevron telling the truth? And his staff said, absolutely, sir. So this thing is going to raise the price of gasoline in California by a dollar a gallon. He goes, absolutely, sir. He said, perfect. The citizens won't be able to tell the difference. And he walked out. That's how Hollywood really works. They are, it's all about them doing something it has nothing to do with the kingdom. For the people, that was the part that I don't, if, you, if you're not in some of those discussions, you would never know that they actually talk the way you think they talk when they're not on camera. So he was really not a very good shepherd. He was, <laughs> but he was that raised. One of the stories. <laughs> he was raised in the, in the teaching order of the Christian brothers. Yeah, he he became a Christian brother. Yeah. Unbelievable. Before, before he, yeah. Yeah. So anyway. Is that a month? What is, what is that? Oh, no, it's a really. Okay. I mean, it's a very old one, too. Yeah. It's like, anyway. They're just, most of them are school teachers and things yeah. like that. But anyway, it's just like, I knew it. But when, when he actually said what I thought was going on, because there was nobody around, cameras, <laughs> I just thought. Anything that Hollywood says, you can just discount. That was my story. The shepherds that I found in Hollywood. There's probably a few, right? But you never see them. They're never on that magazine. Thank you. Who's next? <laughs> it's hard to follow those. <laughs> Go down your rabbit hole. What did you decide? Oh, well, I, yeah, I don't have a picture for those, but this. You can hold Here, I'll pull it for you. Just that. Which one? So the, the, guy the guy's with... face okay. or whatever, it doesn't matter. There's three or four pages. So this is, Judd. yeah, that's it. All of this, like the first five pages of this. Keep, uh, show this, the class. Show, show oh, the I'm people. sorry. Who, who is this? This is somebody. Baseball and, player. And, yeah. And so athlete of the year, home run king. And then another one page says icon of the year. Uh, entertainment. So the accolades that the world is giving and giving them this fame mm -hmm. and putting them on pedestal so that, you know, how many people follow that role model and, and not the role model of Christ. Thank you. Before, let's see if there's time for the rabbit hole after. <laughs> somebody from home. Y'all got, what, what do you got? What about somebody who's at home? Misunderstood. I don't have a picture. It's okay. I'm going to say Facebook. A, mm, not oh. all of it, but a <laughs> lot of it. There's yeah. a lot of bad stuff out there. And it's coming from my friends. And yeah. it's like, you no, know, I stop reading it. I look at it about once a week to see pictures of my family. 
if they're posted and that's about it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a rabbit hole. It really is. Yeah. And that's a great, that's a great example, Diane. I'm sorry. I'm, Facebook. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Who else? Who else? Yes. <laughs> that one. Oh, oh, you're backwards. You're backwards, Cedric. Uh, that's his right side. This is what I want. Oh, you want the calendar. Gotcha. Okay. That's the bulldog. Yeah, it's the calendar. I absolutely feel bad now because I was teacher of the year. So. <laughs> I did, I did. Um, one, okay, so this calendar, this calendar, oh, I got to show y'all. First thing is from 1999. So I have trouble sometimes gra grappling with the sins of my past. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a struggle. And then like the calendar kind of represents how work is. Yeah. So at my job, like it is always an event, an event to plan and like, so, which causes me to look out forward a lot as, as opposed to just enjoying God in the moments of these days. You know, I'm not thinking about like even this morning getting on the elevator, I was thinking about March 17th because there's a big that I'm planning for March 17th, you know, and it, it was like, oh my God, it's raining. I hope it's not raining March 17th. <laughs> <laughs> it is outside. Um, and I guess that's about playing with my past and then just work being so far out and not being able to just enjoy like right here today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always so, so profound. Then Dorcia, you had something to go next. I'm gonna try to hold it up, but all it is is a um oh, we can't see it. I see it. We just see I know. a reflection. I know it's okay. It's um it's called get your life back. Mm -hmm. The problem and and I think he's He's got a really good walk with the Lord. But the problem for me is I don't need to be reading another book. I need to be reading the book. The book. And I so I think it can be a little. The way I combat that is that I look up all the scripture that's ever referenced. Mm, you know, I yes. want to make sure that they're referencing it in context, that they're not taking it out of context. But the point is, I don't. I think it's a little bit of a distraction from my relationship with Jesus because it keeps me in a road rather than the Bible. So anyway, You're a great example, Dorsey, a great, great example. Oh, good. I'd like to go. Oh, go, oh, ahead. go ahead. So, yeah, go. Okay. Let me, uh, hang on. Let me get my. You are a co-host, so you should be able to share your screen. Okay. Hang on. Uh, share screen. Where is it? It's at the bottom. Uh, you pull your cursor there down. It to the bottom. There it is. Got it. Okay, hang on. Let me find the page that I want right here. Come on. Oh, it's showing my desktop. Let me hang on. Let me try something else. That's all right. Here we go. All right. This is an email I got. Okay. It's not showing for us, but anyway. Oh, it's not. Yeah. Um, I don't so here here's what it says. Uh it's from Planable. Small business economy. Slowing or here's an opportunity to get on a call uh to talk about is the economy poised for growth or not. Well, Is, is it going to be, is anything in there going to be the truth? Does mm. anybody even know? Right. What, right. It's just what right. it's one right. more, it's one more distraction from oh, exactly. what's going on. Look over here, look over here. You know, mm. don't, don't mm. look where you ought to look. Just look over here. Mm -hmm. And I'm totally with Dorcia. Stay and one of the things that I've done and is to start using Allo app, which is Catholic, but it provides prayer, <laughs> prayer, prayer for all day. It yeah. provides 
focused on God. It is. It, it, uh, and the reason that I got into it was because the guy, Jonathan Rumi, who's playing Jesus on the chosen work on it. And mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it's a really just wonderful way to start the day and end right. the day. Um, you know, they, they pray differently, but you know, I'm, so <laughs> anyway, that's, that's my way. That's part of my way of getting back. And that's, that's, I delete a, a lot of emails. Yeah, amen. <laughs> yeah, amen. Another great, um, Catholic app called daily office. Diane, you may know that one. It's just called daily office and it takes you through the daily office of the day. And it's really well done. Multiple prayers through the day. Um, um yeah if if we're gonna if we're gonna get sucked into this thing i almost held this up as my distraction <laughs> yes. um um uh remember remember uh some of you may remember when rabbi sam k came over to to us and on sabbath for us downstairs and at one point he said if you just put your damn self right and um uh, um uh, but if we're gonna get sucked into this machine um, apps like the one you're talking about, Daily Office, there are some that are ad-free and are Christ-focused. Yeah. Kathy, you had something. Sure. I had four pictures. They're all about sex, drugs, and alcohol. <laughs> rock and roll. You got it. Rock and roll. <laughs> it's it's rock and roll, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it's a beautiful lady. How old is that at? Well, this is old, but it, it's a wow. Long. Wow, that's Liz and my Richard. sister brought me 14 boxes of my mother's stuff that I tried to talk her into not taking in the first place. Because, oh, I'll do it. I'm going to go through it all. She never did. I knew she wouldn't. Doesn't have time. <laughs> this is my last box. <laughs> <laughs> not that you're bitter. <laughs> So dearly, she is my best friend. I just adore her. She is so wonderful, but she shouldn't have taken the boxes. <laughs> I can name some. But at any rate, um, the picture is glamorized. This is an older magazine, but um, I actually had thinking about one is fairly controversial. And I thought, well, I don't know. Do I really want to do that? And maybe not. And And so this was a little milder perhaps, but um, in our in our advertising, talk about a distraction it's to hook you with things that, that might be appealing. Chocolate could be in this thing too. <laughs> that usually gets my attention, but the Bible teaches us moderation, no wanton sex, and that our bodies are the temple of God, and that's where our focus needs to be. We're talking about that. Cedric is breaking out. It's the temple. Mm -hmm. and Six drink liquor, I got tattoos. And I'm here to tell you confidently that I have no tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> Not or. Mary Elizabeth. <laughs> Mary Elizabeth. <laughs> Dr. Pete has to. Yeah. Y'all are breaking up. The conversation's breaking up. Oh, I'm sorry. Make sure it's still. We had some it, laughter it? break. Yeah, did you hear us just laughing for a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, but I missed what Cedric said. Well, and... it, it'll be on the YouTube. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> I loved it. Hi. We've okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, the oh, a snowy owl. Yeah. Oh, pretty. 
So um, <laughs> this appeal is um, it's very beautiful. I mean, soft and camouflaged. Uh, and as you look at it as a picture, think of the beauty of God's creation. But he's hunting. <laughs> he, he needs to survive. And um, he, like, you know, he's just posing for a, a glamour <laughs> shot. But really, he's he job to do to to survive. He needs to have nourishment, um, and God is our nourishment, and we have to have it in order to survive. So that's what I thought of with that. Wow, that's awesome. That is. Thank you, Ruth. <laughs> so I got this magazine, and I thought I have no idea what could I find in this magazine? But there are several things. So there's an article that says the lap of luxury, just things that come by. And then um, not to miss. And here's an article, an auction in one evening that raised $1.5 billion. Holy cow. Which is, that that's where I got to thinking was, these are beautiful things, but if there's that kind of focus and that kind of money, into them then that's perhaps out of balance although we you know we get to enjoy the pictures in the magazine which is nice because i'm not going to be in a billion dollar auction mm. <laughs> but closer to home my fight has been how do i balance what i like to do which includes artistic and I'm, I'm not an artist but yes, yes crafts you are. And things like that. how do i balance that Am I doing the right balance? God gives us things to do, I think. So he doesn't mind if we do it. Just we have to keep the priorities. And I I, I, I struggle with knowing where it's going. That's great. Great. Wow. I guess you fill your left. All right. On the Wall Street Journal, um, it's hundreds of thousands of people on the street in Paris. Mm -hmm. Protesting. Yeah. yeah, really can't see them, but it's, it's just packed up with people. And testing was that in eight years from now, the French government, in their version of Social Security, you know, re retirement pension. Um, right now, you can retire at age sixty-two and start getting your pension, and they're going to raise the age to 64, eight years from now. <laughs> and so all across France, millions of people on Thursday were protesting, rioting. I thought, well, maybe that's an example of a false voice that the government says, you know, trust in me, we'll provide yeah, for. And, you know, you can argue the merits of maybe the government's running a Ponzi scheme that I put my money in, I should get it out. So that may be true also. Yeah. But nonetheless, millions of people are out protesting and throwing bombs and all over promises by the government. So that would happen here. Yeah. Perhaps there's a false somewhere. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who do yeah. we try? to take care of us my father right. god is our yeah. nourishment yeah in god we trust yeah. all others cash yeah yeah and yeah. and i forgot to mention it's in it in matthew that god says that every bird you know i, I provide food for every bird out there mm -hmm. it's also in psalm 64 yeah. one statistic that i saw it said uh, this is from 15th of 22 25% of Christians consider leaving the church in Germany um, due to all the sex abuse scandals. Percent of those were Catholic, 33% Protestant. So, and then 81% said that leaving the church because they lost trust in these religious institutions, reform and modernize the church's policies. But 
where, you know, people can be swayed by whatever. And so some of these other things I was looking at were all where church leaders had gone astray and they were still standing in the pulpit against what they were exactly doing. Mm -hmm. And, <clears throat> you know, they when they finally got found out, it brought down them. But that's kind of Hillsong. It brought down, it was this the world's largest church of how many churches were involved in it. And it was reaching audiences that hadn't been reached before. And so when it started collapsing, then the American church, uh, they're 16 in the U.S., uh, disassociating with them. But the Australian church had done it such that they had a non-compete claw. It was like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Right. And so anyway, we can we can forget uh, if you'd gone through all of the pictures. Um, there are pictures of churches mm. and choirs and mm. uh, institutional religion, and we can get caught up in institutional religion yes. at the expense yeah. of Christian faith, and it's that can be one of the most. Um, and we can get caught up, caught up in church politics and blah, 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 um, instead of just following the shepherd's voice. Yeah. I hope this has been helpful um, to deliberately think about what, um, what we, what practice, how do, what, what are things that we can do to help us better discern Jesus' voice in the face of all this? Read his word. Read his word. Here. Yeah, yep. come to church. Be, yes. with, be pray. with others. Pray. Be with, be with others, yes. like minded things. Yes. Amen. Yes. yes. Amen. Yes. I, I, it's hard enough to follow Jesus with a support community. I don't know how people think they're going to do it on their own. I really don't. Yeah, I really yeah. don't. Yeah. And and how do these two passages that uh, that we've read for this both comfort and challenge us as we work to follow the Good Shepherd? Come. You know, he will come get us no matter what. He comes for the one. Challenge is that we are sheep. We're dumb animals. We yeah. must be willing to make the decision to follow the correct voice mm. and not our distraction. Yeah. Also, I think um, uh, the prodigal son, the the one who, the, the brother, the brother, me, mm -hmm. that's, that's us. Mm -hmm. That's all of us. Mm -hmm. So they're, you know, the sheep that gets lost and lose it and everybody else has to be unshepherded while he goes mm -hmm. um you know what about your we do ask what about me yeah absolutely i will say that yeah. something and it it's that i think too is so important i mean this sunday school class for example some of you have reached out to me and i yeah but send that make that call check on somebody and if something puts you off try to talk to them calmly you know it really i was upset when you said blah, 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 whatever don't just grumble and hold a grudge reach out let's help each other let's let's really support each other i've seen that so much and this class has kind of opened a new branch of that to me um with with emails you know people i really didn't even know made the effort and so i tend to but um it's there there's there's so much we can do to help each other i mean i yeah amen pray for each other amen yes yes and I, and and just showing up i i i know that the tendency is for y'all to look at me as the one who provides that is so backwards i I cannot tell you what it means to me that you show up. Mm -hmm. um, this, this for me, it's, it's an opportunity for us to get in the word, to hear from y'all. I learned from, challenged by y'all. Um, this, this, this turning around the word, um, it's really the most important thing we do. But your knowledge base. That's my that's, oh, that, that, forget that, it. Forget that. Forget that. That's no, no, I'm serious. <laughs> Anybody can know a lot. Anybody can know a lot. So, well, so this, go this week. This is true. Thank listening you. for the voice of the good shepherd and noting, yeah. all you have to do is note that's not his voice. Right. That's not his voice. Right.
So go in peace, serve the Lord. Ready? Thank you. Thank you. Y'all did a great job. Thank Bye, everybody. You. Bye. Bye. One of the things